So finishing up here 3.3 on graphing systems of uh, um, linear uh, inequalities here. We have a word problem that says a person's theoretical maximum heart rate is 220 minus x, where x is the person's age in years. And this is only supposed to go in between uh, 20 and 65. So when a person exercises, it is recommended that the person strive for a heart rate that is at least 70% of the maximum uh, and at most 85% of the maximum. So your range is in between 70 to 85% cent, uh, 85 of your maximum heart rate. So we will write this as an inequality. So what I know is that is my range for the person's age, right? And this means that I could also rewrite this as two different equations. I could separate this as x is greater than or equal to 20, and I could separate it as x is less than uh, or equal to 65. So at least 70%. So I have my heart rate. At least 70% means y has to be greater than or equal to 70%. So the minimum is 70. That's why it's greater than or equal to. So it's greater than or equal to 0.7 of 220 minus x, because that's what your heart rate is. So when I distribute that through, I end up with y is greater than or equal to 154 minus 0.7x. And if I wanted to write that as a fraction and using the y-intercept form, this would be negative 70 over 100x plus 154. Now at most, I'm going to say y is less than or equal to 0.85. And because I want my answer to be less than 85% of, or here we have it, the heart rate, which is 220 minus x. So I distribute that through to get y is less than or equal to 187 minus 0.85x. So I would write that as negative 85 over 100x plus 187. So I have one, two, three, four different equations. Those are for the heart rate down here, and those are for the age. So, so each of those goes by 10 on the bottom, and each of those goes by 10 up on the side, and I just have everything marked. So x is greater than or equal to 20. There's 20. So I draw a line straight, and when I go to shade in, um, I plug in a point not in the line, 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 20? Nope. So I'm going to shade everything on this side of the line. Next up is x is less than or equal to 65. So there's where 65 would be. So I draw that line straight up and down. And 0, 0 is not on the line. So I pick that, and I realize, oh, that's true, right? 0 is less than 65. So I shade towards the point. So as of right now, I can already tell you that the answer is going to be in that area in between those two lines. So next up, let's look at this one. Uh, it says it's crossing at 154. So 154 is around there. And it also. Uh, says I'm going to go down 70 and over 100. Down 70 over 100. Draw a line and connect it. And 0, 0 is not on that line. So if I plug in 0, 0, is 0 right here? Is 0 greater than that? Nope. So that means I have to shade everything above the line, which is right in this direction. So, so far, I'm going to shade everything up in this little area here. Then next up is uh, 187. So uh, 187 would be way up here. And then that means I'm going down 85 and over 100. And there's that line. So when I go and plug in 0, 0 there, is 0 less than that? Yep, it's true. Which means it's this area right in here. See where there's a whole bunch of arrows in that kind of like parallelogram shape right there. So that little section is your answer. All the heart rates that you're striving for lie in this area. That's what you're looking for in this area right in here. So is a 40-year-old person or is a 40-year-old person have a healthy heart rate at 150? So 40. Here's 30. A 40-year-old person, do they have a healthy heart rate at 150? Well, it touches right in there, yes, because it falls in the shaded area. Right there is a 40-year-old person at 150 beats uh, heart rate per minute, so they do fall in that shaded area, which means they do have a healthy heart rate. I guess you're the winner by default.
So there's your homework. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know.